Well, that's the balloon. It's a problem. There it is. Just coming to shot now for you. It was right behind the bowler's <laughs> at one point in time. Why don't the red badge guys come out and crash tackle that? It's a hindrance to play. Here they come. I'll line it up, don't you worry. I'll line it up. He's got it. He'll do it. Oh, he's down. He's down. Well, have a look at this. Well, that's why he hasn't got the rugby boots on. He's got the... Oh, he's got them. He's got the RM Williams on. And he's come a cropper. This will be out with it. Yes, it will. Bond has bounced him. Sally's taken the catch. So the balloon trick has come up trumps. Oh, brilliant piece of work, whoever released that. That has completely thrown Brad Haddon off his game. He had to pull away, and then Bond thought uh, the old green balloon bouncer, two-card trick. And it just had too much pace for Brad Haddon's shot here. It climbed on him, and he got it very high on the blade, which means no power, no timing. And Tim Southey, the simplest of catches. So, yes, New Zealand have struck. And Australia are 27 for one, hadn't gone 17. Ricky Ponting, the same old routine, gets out there and gets set. And path down to the pitch, 345 times he's done that. In this form of the game alone. Oh, that's a rough snorter. It's got a glove, has it? Has it got a glove? Yes, it has. Well, Ponting doesn't agree for one second. And Gary Baxter has been convinced by the New Zealand appeal. And is this a big moment? Well, I tell you what, this is nowhere near the glove. They have sold him here. Absolutely sold him here. Have a look at this. What it's done is it's swung after it's come off the helmet. It's, it's just, it's gone back and it's hit the helmet straight through to Hopkins. It's nowhere near the gloves. Oh, you've got to feel for Ricky Ponting. He's got to go. Yeah, just a horror. Sorry, Ricky. 27 for two. Game Bond has picked up two and two balls. Just uh, behind. You've got to sit down. Got to sit down, son. That's what they're worried about, you. Right, uh, now then Cameron White tries to get settled. It was a really good delivery to Ponting. Really well directed. But it didn't hit the gloves. It didn't hit anything but the helmet. And it's a really bad decision. haven't got the referral system in place when all the tools are available at the ground I do not know so it's really up to the bowlers from here that was wide and gone so it's Horrocks he just sliced it away Scott Storris was the man who took the catch and Australia have now lost their eighth wicket yeah it was wide it did give him the opportunity to free his arms but he didn't get enough timing on it and he just really scythed it away behind point, and then Styrus got in the way of it. No trouble at all, so Horrocks goes for nine, and Australia really now, it looks bad, 186 for eight. They've never been seen before. Over the top, as far as the man in the deep, and it's Tim Southey who appropriately has the last say. He's bowled well, he's taken four wickets. And now he's taken a very good catch. And uh, here at the Wellington Stadium, at last, they have reason to get to their feet for the New Zealand cricket side. Yeah, it's probably going to be, now, be out of Bond and Southie, both four wickets. And Tim Southie, a pretty good catch running in, diving forward. So Shane Bond fig finishes with the figures of four for 26 off.